Okay, anyone that knows me knows that I like a natural look, but even a natural look takes some effort. <laughs> and what I'm going to show you is my haul. I just got myself a whole new set of makeup. I'm very excited. Um, but it's each step and it's all 10 steps of a perfect face. I just had such a hodgepodge. I'm like, I'm going to start fresh. So I'm going to go through them. The first one, it's my favorite uh, foundation. I know I used to totally be into liquids, but I just love the ease of cream to powder. And I love the extra lasting just because it stays on all day and I work long days. Step two to a perfect face, step one's foundation. Step two is concealer. So I know I'm showing you a brush and not concealer, but extra lasting is full coverage. So if you, uh, let's see, if you just dip into it a little bit, the best way to cover up a big pimple or a big mole is to, you, you do your whole face and then over that one spot, you just daub it until it disappears. And then with the brush, you can feather the edges out so it blends in. I, I just love it. Ever since I figured out how to use a concealer brush, a brush. I don't even use concealer. Now, if you have a, a BB cream or CC cream or, you know, a tinted moisturizer, something that's sheer, you're going to want a concealer. But if you have a full coverage makeup, you can use a concealer stick. And like I said, just load up your brush, daub that spot until the pimple or the age spot disappears, and then just feather the edges until people can't tell that you totally... <laughs> piled it up on that spot but so step two is concealer then step three is powder um you can do you can do this with loose or pressed i prefer loose just because i do and it does come with a puff but here's the deal if you're going to use the puff you want to puff 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 it on your face not rub it on why because you just did all this work why would you rub off all the work because of that i prefer to use the kabuki brush and the great thing is is like Kabuki brush kind of fills up the spot. And even if you have pressed powder, you can kind of just fill it up, you know, and then you can just do your whole face with a kabuki brush. It's, I love that little brush. Um, but the, the powder sets the foundation. Now, extra lasting, you don't even really need a powder because it lasts all day. But any other foundation, you definitely want to set it with powder so it lasts longer. So then the next step is blush. Uh, I like the antique rose, but I'm, I'm fair skinned. But the Antique Rose is a really big seller at the stores. Uh, it's just a neutral, you know, like, is it pink? Is it brown? Is it, you know, you don't know. It's right down the middle. The other one I sell tons of is Rose Luster, and that's more for, like, medium skin tones. Uh, it does come with its little handy-dandy. Uh, <clears throat> it's a little, little thing there. But I don't put blush on without the bronzer blush. I love this thing. Now, this little guy, you know, you kind of have to have a little bit of precision going on and know what you're doing. This is, I, okay, I know Avon has like a, a full-size blush brush. But this is my, I don't really know what I'm doing, foolproof. Get the bronzer one. Let's see if we can focus there. The bronzer brush, because it's flat-topped. I tell you, it, it just goes over the apple of your cheeks. So you can't mess it up. <laughs> Whereas, I don't know, the blush brush looks complicated to me so I just use uh, the bronzer brush my cheeks always look great I I love that brush okay then the next one um, is your brows when once you get to the eyes over here I, I like to uh, set up my brows first if you haven't seen a glimmer stick before they're pretty awesome it just twists open and closed so there's a lot more to it I'm just not gonna go all the way up but so I picked tawny I have a little bit of red tint and then this thing I love. Now, some people need tweezers. I don't, I don't need tweezers. I don't have enough brow, really. So I draw in the pieces that are missing because uh, I just have light brows. And then you can brush your... Uh, I, I brush it up to make them look fuller. And then I use it to sh give me the shape. You know, and some people, if it's super thick, they can use the comb to help cut or tweeze. You know, everyone has different brows. I don't have a tweezer, but I live by this thing to help make my brows look like I have some <laughs> okay and then before you put the eyeshadow on anyone who's tried to put who's put eyeshadow on and then try to put an eyeliner on knows they got the order wrong put your eyeliner on next I prefer the waterproof glimmer stick uh just because I work long days and I need it to last all day long um put that one on first oh and then when you're doing your eye the tip is this second I need a piece of paper. 
the tip to doing your eye, if you have, so like, let's say this is your eye right here. Okay, I know you see people in Hollywood do a thick black liner all over their eye, but it's, it's just not. That looks good on the red carpet, but not in an office. So here's your eye. When you're putting eyeliner on, you want to go two-thirds of the top on the other side of your, your iris, and on the bottom, just a third in. I know it's different than I was taught in the 1990s, but now it's, you know, not the 1990s. <laughs> if you do all the way across the bottom, it can make your dark circles look worse. So just define your eye a little on the top and two-thirds on the, uh, a third on the bottom and two-thirds on the top. Alrighty, so then for the eyeshadow, what's super duper, it went, can you see they're numbered, one, two, three, four. And then uh, it even shows you on the back of the box, just keep your box, you know, where to put the different colors. No, this isn't a neutral, but I do like a little color from time to time. <laughs> now, and again, it does come with its little handy dandy if you're in a pinch, you know, you have four sides on your little foam rubber side. Once I was taught how to use brushes, I can't do it without. I definitely, you know, would do my, the big pieces with this one. Uh, I don't know. I'm just rub it on a towel in the bathroom to clean it off between colors. This is the one I love. Now, okay, so you can use eyeliner, but like this, this dark color here is a perfect eyeliner. And uh, this brush, I mean, they're so short and they're so stiff. You, you know, choose what size. This is the um, eyeliner brush. You can uh, use the powder as your eyeliner. And not only is it more dramatic, but it actually looks more natural than a pencil. So I don't know. I've, I've just become used to doing that a lot too. If, if I'm wearing eyeshadow, which I just, you know, I'm going to do a nat natural look. And so I don't wear eyeshadow much. But when I do, I always uh, make it an eyeliner or use, you know, shadow to be the eyeliner. And then after you've put everything dry on your eyes, you know, go for the wet stuff. Um, the Big and Daring Mascara is my favorite right now. Uh, I don't have it in my pile here, but seriously, buy the eye makeup remover. <laughs> this stuff stays on. It stays on. And so you need the makeup remover to take it off. But that's one of its terms. And then uh, step, I haven't been counting them. Step nine is lip liner and then your lips stick. And so for lips, um, I know a lot of people, I didn't understand it. But the, the cool thing about lips is you start with your um, Cupid's bow, and I had no idea what that was. I draw it in. I do that, I do that, and then my hand comes down, and I do this side, and I do this side. Okay, this paper is not my lip, right? Uh, I used to be unsteady, and now I, and then you do the whole bottom. Uh, sometimes it's easier for people to do a third, a third, and a third while you're getting used to it. And then you know what I do? I take the lip liner, and I just fill in my entire, I draw my entire lips with the lip liner. Okay, so paper is not my lips. But uh, the lipstick lasts forever. You want your lipstick to last forever? Put your uh, cream to powder over your lips. Put the powder on your lips. Draw your lips in with the lip liner. Then put your lipstick on. That lipstick is on. And then, of course, you know, I'm into the natural look, so I get twig. Again, in the extra lasting line, just because it really does last all day. And uh, <laughs> the funny thing is when I'm done with this entire regimen, I just look neat and natural and professional. I'm not into the heavy Hollywood thing. One foundation, two concealer, three powder, four blush, five brows, six eyeliner, seven eyeshadow, eight mascara, nine your lip liner, ten your lipstick. There's your 10 steps to a perfect face. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and got a few good tips out of it. Thanks, Avon World.